What up people, Garrett here from Sinister Custom Concepts. Uh, I believe where we left off was I was just getting the fuel cell for Project SS Blaze. I uh, just jumped back on that project and I got a couple things for you guys to check out. So first of that being the fuel cell, got that sucker installed. Uh, oh, right there I got a bolt on each side and then some straps that go down underneath the fuel cell and then on this side there's a, a hinge for each one of those straps so that he can unbolt it there and drop the tank if need be and uh, service whatever he needs to do and then next thing I got done I uh, built another battery box so now he's got his two two Optima battery boxes back here so they're gonna go on the floor just like that had to raise the floor up a little bit uh, really just to compensate for the spout on the gas tank uh, that that's gonna run right alongside here underneath or in between these bars I might have to cut and make them a little wider but I think it should be good and there's the stock gas door so it'll just flow right into that sucker and then uh, there's a couple braces on the side here so it doesn't move side to side and then I got the valves mounted actually for the rear end. So you're gonna we're gonna plumb it right from here directly down into the bag. And then out of here is gonna go to a tank that's mounted right here, an air tank. So got another piece of the floor done also that turned out pretty badass. Let me throw that in here real fast. Alright, so that kind of gives you a little bit of a look at what it's gonna look like. Not a lot of room back here to, to back up, but yeah, he's going to have two batteries right there and in this metal part where that's all bent down, it's going to be kind of a pocket uh, for the air to be plumbed into. Uh, there's going to be a tank, uh, if you remember the shock towers that go, go through here and come down like that, and there's going to be two stands. Uh, for the tank to mount to one right here and one right here which I got mounted or, or I got made already at least and uh, that's about it for right now that I'm jumping on jumping back and forth between this project and the navigator uh, my plan for that is to get the, the hydraulic lines and the brake lines ran and then pull that motor out so I can finally wrap up the firewall. So doing some double shifts, getting both projects somewhat handled. And a couple things uh, you didn't know about this project, it's kind of hard to mention everything at once because man we've done just an incredible list of shit to this truck. But his axle had to be narrowed narrowed uh, eight inches total so that when it goes up to the window you look on the body how it it kind of flares up into the window and gets narrower towards the top of the vehicle so the axle had to be narrowed about four inches on each side which resulted in the frame also being narrowed so we had to narrow the frame about six inches six seven inches just to to clear those wheels so if you look the frame the frame used to go right along that tire it was like an inch off but uh, my business partner Brandon who you're gonna meet pretty soon here uh, he handled that and it turned out pretty fucking clean uh, it's a little hard to tell but I got pictures up on the Facebook page if you guys want to check them out uh, Garrett F-O-N Stark on Facebook go ahead and search me hit me up and uh, I got more updates coming soon so stay tuned spread the word subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon peace